What is up everybody? It is your bro J.O. coming to you guys yet with a new video. And for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a lookbook on how to style these Kohan penny loafers or any penny loafer in general. The reason why I'm making this video is because I've been wearing these a lot lately, especially right now that I am staying indoors, which I hope you are as well, because I know right now in my state, the coronavirus is getting really crazy, but I hope you guys are just staying safe, staying indoors and enjoying the free time that you have now with your family or, you know, more time to hit the books because I know that's what I've been doing. But yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys today on how to style these, kind of some outfit inspiration so you guys can either go purchase yourself a pair if you don't have any loafers, but I really considered purchasing them. I highly recommend it. Or just if you already do have a pair, kind of you don't really know what to wear with it, kind of expanding your wardrobe, expanding your ideas on how to wear it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And let's get right into the video. So for the first outfit that I am wearing is um, fairly simple, fairly minimal. As you know, that is my style. In this case, I am wearing a lamb leather jacket paired with a black top, um, some crop, then some jeans that I have, um, which I know you guys are always commenting on my Levi's, but these are not Levi's. These are Danzim. I think that's how you pronounce it, but um, you can pretty much find them at Target. And yeah, white socks and then the black loafers, a look that is kind of grungy but at the same time kind of simple kind of you know formal it's kind of weird look i know it's not for everybody but it's just a look that i really like and if you guys have these pieces you guys should definitely give it a try fit right here has honestly just been a banger i've been wearing it a lot when i was going to school um in this case i'm wearing a pro club long sleeve i know you guys have some of these and if you don't i highly recommend these pro clubs it's just a work wear top that just gets the job done it's fairly thick but it's also very tapered at the hands i really like how it fits i then decided to switch out the pants and go with a 511 levi skinny jeans um, keeping the socks the same and then just working off the loafers this look is very unique um, not a lot of people I guess wear it as well if you do have these pieces once again I highly suggest it I really like how it fits on me personally just because I do like the tapered look I do like the slimmer fits a lot more and just having I guess tapered pants and then a shirt with tapered sleeves just looks really unique in my opinion and I just really like this outfit in this case, I'm working off the same outfit. I just decided to throw on this green jacket that I did thrift. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it up. But pretty much it's the same as the other outfit. Just threw this on for days when it starts to get cold. It starts to get a little more foggy, especially here right now in the spring in California. The weather does change up. So yeah, pretty much the same all around just the, with the green jacket on top. Now moving on to the more formal part of the penny loafer. In this case, I am wearing a Ralph Lauren knitted sweater paired with um, some Levi's 502s. I did decide to take out the 511s due to the fact that the 502s are a little more roomy. They look a little more dad-like, I guess you can say, but a whole lot more professional, a whole lot more put together with the penny loafers. Also with the penny loafers, I decided to take out the white socks and put in some black socks just to look a little more mature, look a little more put together. And in my opinion, it's just a clean fit that um, if you know you're just going out, you know, want to look a little more sophisticated, I highly recommend it. Um, this is definitely not a fit that I'm used to, but I decided to go with it in case for this video. Um, I know it has a lot of mixed feelings. I did send this out to a couple people that I know, try to get their opinion on it because this is something that I wouldn't wear personally, but I'm not sure. I should definitely give it a try. Um, this is kind of going off the last outfit, but in this case, I decided to switch out the Ralph Lauren one for a simple Hanes crew neck and it's just making it look a whole lot more casual a whole lot more simple and a whole lot more cozy in my opinion um something like i said that i'm not used to but if you guys definitely want to give it a shot here's uh you know how it looks on me maybe it'll look better on you but yeah that's pretty much it in this case right here i'm wearing one of my favorite types of weights to style the penny loafers which is with no show socks in this case i am not wearing socks but that's because of no show socks they ended up showing which is very terrible <laughs> i know what kind of no show socks are those um but anyways um in regards to how i'm wearing them 
um, I decided to switch out the pants, go with some gray chinos that are Levi's, and then just put on a black polo. This fit right here, you know, it speaks business, it speaks, you know, professionalism, but at the same time, it speaks casual, and that's why I like this fit in general. It's just very um, transitionable. It can go with a lot of situations, and yeah, in my opinion, it's one of the cleanest fits that I like to go, one of my go-tos, specifically right now in the spring, and most definitely heading into the summer. In this case, it's very similar to the other outfit. I just ended up switching out the black polo to a white tee. This is very essential, I know, to the people who are into minimalist fashion. Um, just one other way to kind of spruce up your wardrobe. Um, just throw on the white tee with the loafers and, you know, it looks fresh, it looks clean. Right now that we are heading towards the spring and summer time, um, just a good look that will work all season round. This outfit right here I made specifically for this video. It is one that I wouldn't usually wear, but somehow it seems to work. It seems to fit well. And at the time that I am making this recording, I am wearing this outfit. Um, I do like how it feels on my skin. It's very lightweight. Um, not the most um, durable, I guess, when it starts to rain, when it starts to get a little more cold, due to the fact that the flannel is light. Um, and it is a white shirt, but I know on days where it starts to get sunny, where, you know, you just want to go out in the early morning or something, this outfit is definitely going to get the job done. And then if it does get hot, you can just take off the flannel easily. So yeah, it's a fit that I wouldn't consider usually, but like I said, I am wearing it now and I do like how it fits and feels. This outfit right here is the same as the one shown previously with the flannel. The only difference here is that I obviously switched out the flannel to a lightweight blue denim button up from H&M. For the last and final fit, I decided to pretty much show you guys my go-to, probably my favorite outfit out of all the ones shown today. It is simply the same as the other two. The only difference here is the Levi's denim jacket. And I'm sure you guys are pretty much sick and tired of me always bragging about this denim jacket. But you know me, I'm straight up. I'm keeping 100 with you guys. This is what I wear pretty much all the time. And I do love this denim jacket. I wear it at least once a week. And that's, again, why I always talk about it because i do love it that much and i highly recommend buying one if you guys don't have one but in this case it just looks phenomenal with the loafers you can pretty much take this outfit all season round all year round you know day or night hot or cold that's one of the reasons why i like denim and just this fit in general is just one that i have been wearing a lot and i love it i'm gonna continue wearing it and i highly recommend it if you guys have these pieces to definitely give it a shot Once again, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I also will be linking down below um, some pieces that I did use or the loafers that I did use, as well as my social media links um, in regards to what I've been doing. I know I didn't post last week, so I apologize for that. It's been a very hectic week in regards to the virus relating to school. Um, I just went from being, you know, on campus to being online and just for like a couple of weeks to getting an email that I was going to be online for like the rest of the semester. So um, I've been focusing on school as of right now since finals is about to approach. Um, so I apologize for that, for not making a video. Um, in regards to the channel or in regards to the content, I have been posting on TikTok lately. Um, I don't know if you can get my TikTok down there, but you can just follow me on Instagram. And then from there, I usually just post my TikToks or you can go ahead and follow me on TikTok, which is the same username as I do have on Instagram. In regards to the channel, what I have planned to do, um, I actually started a website that I've had for years, but I haven't really written on it. Um, I kind of want to start writing on it because I do like writing, I guess, uh, things that I'm really passionate about. Most of it being obviously clothing, writing reviews. So that's probably something that I do plan to do as well. I have started a Patreon, but it's not completed yet. So if you guys want to support me with that, I know times are tough, but um, if you know, got some spare change or just want to help me out to continue pumping out content, I do plan to have that going around. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to start it at, probably like a dollar to three dollars to be honest. It's just something, um, it's on mostly for you guys, just to kind of know what content you guys specifically want to see or kind of 
um, know what you guys want me to put the money to use. Um, that's honestly what I'm gonna use the money for, pretty much for that, and also for you know equipment, things like that. If if it does come to that, um, in regards to yeah equipment, I do really want to upgrade the audio. I know the audio is not the best right now, but it's not bad. Um, I did have a hundred dollar road mic, but it did end up like giving up on me, which is very dumb I guess and it's a very expensive mic but I've had it for years so I get it um, I plan to just upgrade the mic probably get like some of those sound foam thingies just to give you guys like a better more um, audio quality but yeah that's pretty much it and once again I hope you guys are just staying safe enjoying your free time you know staying staying at home and you know how we always end here let's keep grinding and let's keep working